Amazon delivery driver says she was harassed at a residential building in River Oaks while trying to do her job, and it was all caught on camera. That driver is now demanding accountability. ABC 13's Daniela Hurtado is live in the newsroom tonight with this story. Daniela? Erica, she says she was wearing a marked Amazon vest and was trying to deliver a package to a residential building she had never been to before. She tells us a resident allowed her into the building and also allowed her onto the elevator. But she tells us things took a bit of a turn when they both cut off on the same floor. We've had thieves here and you're a thief. That's part of a video captured on December 16th by Amazon delivery driver Jemiah Miller when she went to deliver a package at a residential property called Bell Mead in River Oaks. The delivery instructions for this particular suite said deliver to suite. So despite the woman telling me I needed to go to the concierge, I decided that I was just going to finish my job and deliver it to the suite. Representatives for the property say they're building policies for all packages to be delivered to the concierge. It's something Miller says she wasn't aware of until a resident told her as she was already on the floor of the apartment she needed to deliver to. If they really thought it was a problem, I feel like they could have contact, contacted security or the concierge himself instead of trying to physically approach me and uh, becoming so aggressive. No, don't touch me. Excuse me. Let me. Excuse me, please don't Miller touch says me. she started to grow concerned, so she started recording the interaction on her phone. I mean, being a black woman in a rich white neighborhood, mostly white neighborhood, I did feel like the people would probably believe those residents, uh, being that they were older white women. Excuse me. Here, she's attacking me. Please she's attacking She was saying she's attacking me, but you can clearly see her um, hitting me as she's saying this. Um, so, yeah, in that moment, it got a little bit more scary, too, because I felt like she was going to try to make false claims about me being there. Miller has filed a police report, and her case has now been assigned to an investigator. Bell Mead property representatives say the actions of third parties do not in any way reflect the values of the property. They say they're cooperating with police. Daniela Hurtado, EBC 13 Eyewitness News.